Welcome back. It is Hoops for St. Jude. The Children's Research Hospital is encouraging fans to come out and enjoy some good basketball while supporting a great cause. The University of Memphis men's basketball team taking on the University of North Carolina Tar Heels. And they're not the only one. The women's team takes on the reigning NCAA national champions, the South Carolina Gamecocks. 100% of the proceeds benefit St. Jude. WREG Shea Arthur shows us how the hospital says these games will make a big difference. College basketball. The excitement is here despite the season not starting quite yet. Uh, so you can just feel the momentum building. Momentum for next Tuesday when the Memphis Tigers tip off at FedEx Forum. The men's team taking on the University of North Carolina. The women's team playing the University of South Carolina. They're calling the preseason doubleheader Hoops for St. Jude tip-off classic. But it all started in a partnership with the University of Memphis. And we've had this vision. A, a, a gentleman that works with me, Chris Boyson, and I have been talking about creating a basketball tournament here, making it a destination event. Large events like the Marathon, the FedEx St. Jude Championship Golf Tournament, draw in tens of thousands of people. The hope is for these games to do the same and will be broadcast on ESPN. So the world is going to hear about St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and the world's going to hear about our great community, Memphis, because I want to shine a spotlight on Memphis with the goal of making this a regular season game tournament down down the road uh, where Memphis becomes that destination that people want to come and they want to play the Memphis Tigers. While shining a spotlight on St. Jude. I, I want them to know about St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. I want them to know about this global problem that pediatric cancer is. I want them to know that 400,000 kids around the globe are going to get cancer. The survival rates in these low and low middle income countries is 20% or less. And we've got a plan to try to raise that to 60% in the next decade. The University of Memphis teams recently visited the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital to see the work happening on campus. UNC and USC will visit too. So Shay, this is all about communities coming together to support the life-saving mission of St. Jude. Now St. Jude hopes the public comes out to enjoy great games while making a difference. Like, we're going to go watch a basketball game, but at the very same time, we're going to be doing good. You buy a ticket to that game, you're going to watch great basketball. But you're also going to be helping the kids at St. Jude because we get 100% of the proceeds from ticket sales. It allows us to stay true to that foundational promise that no family will ever receive a bill from St. Jude, not for treatment, travel, housing, or food, so mom and dad can focus on helping their child live. For your news leader, Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. Exciting times. The games will be at FedEx Forum next week, Tuesday, October 15th. The men's game against the University of North Carolina is set to start at 6 p.m. The women's game against the University of South Carolina is set for 8.30 p.m. For more information about buying a ticket to this hot event, you can visit our website, WREG.com, or click on the story. It's a